you may be using the wrong launch options and install options because the default settings for these are very unoptimized, which could be the reason for why you're having low FPS, especially in the more populated areas of the map. So to fix these settings and well, optimize them, firstly you need to go into the Epic Games Launcher, go to the top right corner, click on that and then make sure that you actually update it in the settings it should say restart and update to the latest version then once it's updated you want to head into the library top left then go under the game itself where the three horizontal dots are click on options and then inside here you can see we've got the install options with all of the default options right here now firstly for the save the world you want to uncheck that and save yourself 3.3 gigabytes as we don't even need this installed if you only play the regular battle royale game mode secondly we've got the high resolution textures and this is just not needed at all because it's only required if you play the game on beautiful graphics as this setting is responsible for all of those textures like the reflections and all that that make the game look super super realistic so if you don't require all that and you play the game on the lowest graphics just go ahead and uncheck that right there and this will not only give you more fps in game but it'll also give you some extra storage literally nearly nine gigabytes of extra storage for your pc thirdly we've got the directx 12 shaders now straight away i'd recommend unchecking this but only if you use performance mode if you do indeed use directx 12 which some people do these days you actually want to have this checked because to even use directx 12 in game as you can see you actually need this setting enabled however like i mentioned if you do use performance mode you can go ahead and uncheck this to get nearly five gigabytes of extra storage and then finally we've got a newish setting called disable cosmetic streaming and for this guys i actually recommend checking it now yours might say 24 gigabytes right here do not worry mine's just i think glitched and is saying lower but it's actually a higher file but what this does here is it'll actually stop the cosmetic streaming which means you will no longer be streaming every single cosmetic around you as soon as you jump in game and for the extra cost of either 6 gigabytes or 24 gigabytes whatever it says on your machine you'll actually have all of those cosmetics pre-downloaded so you'll see all the textures straight away and they'll be all loaded in instead of having them stream to your computer which as you can imagine can increase your bandwidth which can actually lower your ping and just affect your connection in general so you definitely want to have disabled cosmetic streaming ticked and I definitely think it's worth whatever storage it's going to take up on your PC and once you've set up all your settings to be optimised for your PC and your setup just go ahead and click apply and then once back in the Epic Games Launcher, head to the top right corner, click on the Settings tab right here, and then if you go down to the actual custom launch options under the game itself, you'll see I have three main command lines right here. That's LAN Play, No Splash, and Use All Available Cores. However, two of these only work. The other one is outdated. The No Splash command right here, this is supposed to disable the splash image when loading into the game, which should have increased load times. But as you can see, as of chapter for when I have this command actually enabled in my command line arguments you can see the splash screen does still appear so I'm assuming that this command in itself is outdated from my testing however for the other commands such as LAN play this basically tells the Unreal Engine to not cap client bandwidth when connecting to servers which I believe still works and for the use all available cores command this seems to work as well this basically forces the Unreal Engine to use all CPU cores which can obviously boost FPS as you can imagine so as for now what i do is i only have dash lan play and then space dash use all available cores which i will have in the description of this video but that right there guys is the optimized launch options and install options for fortnite chapter 4 if the video helped out feel free to drop a like on it drop a sub on the channel and use my code in the amish shop to help me out a turn catch us all in the next video and be sure to check out any of my other videos on screen right now